you know, <clears throat> I was playing. I've been playing Snowball Striker for a very long time. Okay, this is Naruto to Naruto Snowball Striker, by the way. How you doing? My name is Urban. And I noticed that not many people that are either somewhere between level 50 and like level like 200, they do all these wacky stuff, but they don't have any Shinobi boost on. In the words of Pokemon, it's super effective. Like I said, what's good everybody? It's Urban Mauler. I'm coming at you with another type of YouTube video, okay? We're gonna start a little segment on this channel called Urban Tips, where I try to bring you certain tips from different video games that I believe will help a lot of gamers out there. The tips that I bring you are totally opinionated, okay? So anything that I give you that don't, you know, take it with a grain of salt, try things out for yourself, see if it helps you. If it doesn't help me, help you, let me know down in the comment box below and I'll go back and reevaluate my stuff. If, it, if you find it that it helps you um, pretty well, in your games uh, make sure to let me know if, about that as well it's really appreciated make sure to leave a like subscribe we're gonna try to get into this video also if you stay to the end okay if you played Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker I'm going to leave you a bonus tip in the end okay I'm going to leave you a bonus these Shinobi boosts are very very effective in battle and at the end of the video if you make it to the end for our bonus I will share with you my Shinobi boost that I use on my character, my attack class in particular, okay? So hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into Shinobi boost, okay? For our Shinobi boost, they run on three different types of our, like three different types of clothing on our character. It runs on the top half, the bottom half, and the accessories. So I ran over a little bit in Naruto to Baruto um, gameplay and walkthrough. I'll leave a link down for that in the description. But for that one, I kind of touched on it just briefly, but I didn't get to go into it all the way because that turned out to be like a 15 minute video. And I'm gonna try to make this one less than like nine. So just bear with me on this. I'm gonna go a little bit fast. So feel free to have to rewind, do all you need to do to try to catch up. But I touched on the costumes just briefly but i didn't get to go into all the way for this video we won't be doing any fighting this time around we're gonna we're gonna take the gloves off a little bit and kind of just take the rag dab the face with the sweat on it we're gonna just discuss a few things on how to make ourselves more combat addict when we play naruto to baruto shinobi striker okay we're gonna go we're not gonna go into all of them because there is a lot okay so we're only gonna touch on the ones that i think are the most used amongst us veteran shinobi striker players okay so with that being said Let's dip into it. For our first one, what I believe to be the most used amongst us veteran fighters is Dog Determination, okay? This is for the top half. Dog Determination makes it harder for enemies to fall during close range combat, allowing you to make more combos and hit them for a longer period of time. I kind of paraphrase that, so bear with me. So what that means, point blank simple, you can be doing a combo on somebody that was lasting five, six, seven hits, and let's say if you have them in the air, you're comboing out on them. What Doll Determination does, it makes it to where they don't fall out of your combo for a longer period of time, allowing you to get like a eight, nine, 10 hit move off, and I'm just exaggerating too, but allowing you to get more hits off before the opponent falls out of your hands, right? So you allow me to do, allowing you to do more damage. This is really good for the attack class, really good for the attack class, because they're smash mouth. Like I said in my last video, my main goal is to run around and beat people unmerciful. That's what Doll Determination is all about. Really, really good for the attack class. Um, and it can also be pretty good for the range class as well, but most effective with the attack class. Our next one is Lightning Speed. Boost close range attack speed, plain and simple, allowing you to throw your hits a lot faster, um, the attack class again will benefit from this a lot more. It can be used amongst all the classes, particularly attack and the defense class. I I don't want to give defense tips in this game because they've nerfed this thing a lot and it is still one of the most OP classes in the game. Still one of the most overpowered classes. It needs to be nerfed more, but they probably 
won't nerf it the way it should let's be honest okay but lightning speed point blank simple allows me to hit you a lot faster really really effective with the attack class and the defense class as well let's go into the bottom half in the bottom half but i think to be the most uh used amongst the veteran fighters will be robust fighter robust fighter boosts your max health this is most effective for the range class because the range class is not meant to be like the attack class it's not a smash mouse in, in your face class uh with the range class you have to fight with from a distance while they can pack a punch they are the squishiest of the four classes okay it doesn't take much to take out the range class but if you play your cards right you play from a distance it can be very very active the reason robust fighter falls into play because it gives you a bigger health pool it gives you it makes it to where you seem like you can take more damage but not right away but you it seems like you can you know gives you a lot more health um starting off really really good the next one i think is more really really used uh is clear mind short ninjutsu cooldown time this is by by far the most versatile thing you can use amongst any of the classes in any situation all because it simply shortens your powerful moves your ninjutsu uh, if you want to chunk some fireballs at somebody if you want to chuck a rasengan a flying rajin if you want to pull a universal pull it allows you to get those moves back in a shorter amount of time it's really really good for any particular class there i can't really single that one to any one that is best for personally because like i said it, it, it everyone uses ninjutsu ninjutsu shortens ninjutsu cooldown time very very effective let's go into the accessories for the accessories we have battle harden okay i when i come across people that do use shinobi boost i have not seen a person that did not run battle harden yet okay battle harden is really really effective it instantly refills a set amount of health after you defeat an enemy really really nice for the attack class because there's not a lot of things they can use that can heal them is super effective for the healer and the support class okay i feel like that they will benefit from it more considering all they do is heal so be able to knock somebody out and then get some health back is that you that's that sounds pretty effective to me that's a pretty good trade-off but the attack class can benefit from it a lot more considering they like their front line they like to be in the battle uh they're one of the first ones to be in the fight so to knock somebody out and get some health back as an attack class is very very rewarding um let's go into our next one our next one i think is pretty pretty um used amongst um us fighters is vengeful fury it provides a large close range attack boost for a period of time after an ally is defeated so kind of the reverse is a little like battle hardened in a sense but only it um it has the opportunity to give you um more power when you go to do your combos uh going back to like we talked about with doll determination and robust fighter um with battle hard as a matter of fact it's really good for those situations as well now unfortunately what like you can't stick to one like let's say if i want to stack dull determination and lightning speed on my top unfortunately i can't do that you can only have three you're gonna have one for the top one for the bottom one for the accessory so do keep that in mind okay you can only use that but like i said ventral fear is really really good so if you let's say for example you can go back and stack on doll determination you put on vengeful fury that's really rewarding because not only are you going to get that good bit of attack off at the same time once you knock them out you get some health back along with that as well and you also have a bit of a close range attack power boost uh while you're fighting uh after i defeated so really really nice to have so if you made it to this part of the video guys we're gonna go over the bonus for you we're gonna go over the attack class for what i use my attack class character now we'll say this before we look into it this particular bill will be just for the attack class i would not suggest you use the shinobi boost on any other classes because i don't i, I haven't seen it be very effective in any other class so keep that in mind i found it to be very very effective for the attack class let's get into it hello andrew uzumaki how are you today i am well how can i help you well we i wanted to discuss what you use for your shinobi boost in battle oh very well take a look so what i use for for my shinobi boost for andrew uzumaki like i said this is particularly for the attack class i would not suggest trying this or anything else for you will have a bad time doing so for this one my top skill i use lightning speed i boost close range attack speed for the bottoms, I use in a flash boost movement speed, which I said, like I said, I don't see people using that one very much, but it does help. And fire accessories, I use battle harden. Now, as an attack class, it is essential to do hit and run things, okay? With the attack class, if you're going to challenge someone, do it in two ways. In my opinion, do it in two ways. Either A, 
I hate to say this, but attack him from behind, sneak up on him and give him the what for, or B, make have an even battle, okay? Attack classes, I learned from Vince's SGN. If you watch this video, Vince's, I appreciate you for this tip because it helped me out a great deal in my combat. If you're going to use the attack class and you're gonna make an attack on somebody, the most vulnerable to the attack class is the defense class. Okay, because they're too slow for the attack class. The defense class may not have the ability to be flinched while being hit, but they're too slow to react to the attack class. They're way too slow. If you're gonna attack anyone, attack the defense class. Who's the attack class super effective on? The range class, because they're squishy. They're very, very squishy, okay? That's, they're the most super effective on, for sure. I will say you will have a better time with the range class than with the defense class, because the defense class do hit pretty tough. But the range class, they're squishy. They're very, very squishy. The only thing you have to do is get close. That's the only thing. And once you get close, these Shinobi boosts come into big play for sure, okay? Lightning speed, in a flash, battle hardened, all right? And that's along with the jutsu that I use as well, which is, if you watch my last video, Universal Pull, Flying Raj in level two, high speed movement, and Kamui. These Shinobi boosts tend to complement these new jutsu very, very well. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I go into more in-depth Shinobi boosts and which class that I think will help the best, make sure to leave a comment for me down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to your boy because, you know, I like I like doing these things for you guys. Like I said, this isn't, just, this isn't a me effort, okay? Y'all got us to 112 ballers, okay? I want to try to keep that skyrocketing. I want to reach 500 by the end of the year, okay? So, love you guys. Thank you for all the support to the channel. Until the next one, Herb out. Thank you.